Hello guys, welcome to Selenium CSS Selector Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the CSS Selector pseudo classes and the pseudo classes that we are going to learn with examples are the first child, last child, nth child and nth last child. These pseudo classes are very widely used in Selenium Web Automation if you are trying to find out web elements using CSS Selector. So, pretty helpful in finding the dynamic web element on um, any web page and so we'll understand these with examples so before we get into the hands-on let's understand what exactly these pseudo classes stand for so a css pseudo class is nothing but a keyword added to sell to uh, any selector that specifies the special state of the selected web element now, once we go to the example, it will be really clear what exactly pseudo class is. So, for example, first child is a pseudo class, last child is another pseudo class, nth child and nth last child are another pseudo classes. There are many other pseudo classes that you can uh, browse through and use, but these are most commonly used ones, which will be sufficient to find the dynamic web element. So, the first child, what this does is it returns the first element from the group of sibling elements similarly the last child returns the last element okay nth child returns um, the element based on their position so nth child you have to provide the argument in uh, this particular pseudo class and similarly in the nth last child you have to provide the argument so it will select the web element based on the argument that you provide so the argument is nothing but the position that you specify so for example you want to select the web element which is at the fifth position or the fifth position from the last so these uh, the nth child or the nth last child will help you to achieve that now let's go ahead into um, the actual uh, scenario and understand and write these particular um, css selector with the pseudo class so I'll go to the Salesforce developer website here and I have inspected, let me inspect this role again. And in the Chrome browser, you can directly right click on any web element and click on inspect and it will highlight the web element in the element console. So you don't need any other add-ons. So once you are in the console, I'll cancel this um, search box. So command F, if you are on Mac or control F if you are win on Windows to open this search box wherein you can find you can type in your CSS selector or the X path okay so because we are working on CSS selector so let's start writing CSS selector with these pseudo classes okay so the first example that we want to understand is the first child okay so what basically first child will do is it will return the first web element from the group of sibling element okay so first child say so for example this select is the parent of these particular uh, children here so option uh, tags are the child web elements of the select uh, tag here right so if we want to select the first child which is the option right and with the value your job role then how we can use the pseudo class to select that we can simply start with the select so uh, the tag select which is the parent so i'll just say select and then i have copied the id so hash and the job role right so it has selected the parent now if we want to select the first child we can use the child combinator right so we can use the greater than sign and then will start specifying the node that we want to select so as soon as i specify the tag for the child web elements which are below this parent select so i can see that one of six or the six elements have been selected now if i want to specify just the first web element that i want to select then i have to dig deeper and specify the attribute that i want that are unique for this particular child okay so i'll simply say uh, the attribute selected and provide the value of the attribute which make this particular child unique 
and so that I can select the first child okay so that's how we can do with the child combinator okay so it will select the first child but just in case the first child has the dynamic um, attributes and there is nothing unique that you can select in that case the pseudo class first child is really really helpful okay so what I can do is I can simply remove the whole details here right I can start with a colon and then I can say first child right so now you can see that by default and automatically with this pseudo class it selected the first child of this particular parent that we specified so the, this is the parent node the highlighted one select with an id job role um, then there is a child combinator and after the colon i have said select the first child of this particular parent okay um, similarly i can use the other combinator which is the uh, child and sub child combinator it still it will select the first child of this particular parent okay now if i want to select the last child for this particular parent i can just change it to the last child and you can see that it has selected the last child all right nth child is basically the function uh, or the pseudo class wherein you have to provide the argument okay so nth child requires the number that you want to select from this list so this has six child uh, web element right so um, developer architect administrator it manager business manager executive so if i want to select the third or the fourth one okay i just specify the number there and you can see the fourth has been selected okay the difference between the nth child and nth last child is basically if i change it to the nth last okay you can see that architect cto has been selected so the difference is basically uh, nth child returns elements based on their position in the group so it starts from the top and nth last is basically returns based on the position but it counts from the end okay so you can see it counts from the end so that is why if i specify um, you know the value as 2 and specify the nth last it's selecting the, the second last value and starting from the end if i say change it to the nth child then it selected the second web element which is developer that got highlighted okay now you can specify the tag okay so here before the colon you can specify tag okay i can say option okay which is the tag and then colon and then i can use all these pseudo classes which is first child last child nth child nth uh, hyphen last child so i can use these pseudo classes but if i don't want to use any of the tags i can simply use the star okay so i can say the star colon uh, nth hyphen child or the first hyphen child and specify uh, the arguments if I'm using nth child or the nth last child to select the child web element okay so that is basically how you will be utilizing the CSS selector pseudo classes first child last child nth child and nth last child to identify the web elements which mostly will be uh, you know will have the dynamic attributes so there is nothing you know like static id or name that you can utilize so you have to reference those nodes with in context to some other node and that that's what we are doing here so we are referencing the node which is the parent and then from the parent we are using these pseudo classes first child last child etc uh, to identify those nodes because they, these nodes might have the dynamic values which won't allow us to select um, them using any of the static attributes so the this is these are the scenarios which you will come across a lot using when you are doing the selenium automation and css pseudo classes css selector pseudo classes will help you a lot in identifying those dynamic web elements so that's pretty much all about the css selector pseudo class first child last child nth child and nth last child 
Hope you liked the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.